This morning I lost, and we lost, um, Dr. Rick DeFore. Um, passed away this morning. He's been battling stage four lung cancer. And as I tell people, if there's a Mount Rushmore for education, if his face is not on it, then you need to blow that mountain up. Um, because he should be somewhere in the center. Um, so just because he's not physically here doesn't mean he's gone. He's just not physically here. Every time teachers sit down and discuss those four questions, he's there. When you unwrap those standards, when you use that common formative assessment data, when you set up that pyramid of interventions, uh, when you uh, uh, have your kids come late on Wednesday or leave early on Thursday, he's right there. Um, every time you think about a passage in one of the 50,000 books that he wrote, I always felt bad, because I'd, I'd be real proud when I finish a book. He said, that's great, I just finished four. i like, well, shut up. I wouldn't be here today, honestly, if it wasn't for him. Uh, he gave me my first opportunity. He actually guided me and my school through the PLC process. If you've ever taken a look at the All Things PLC website, they have the model PLCs. We were the first urban school on that list, and that wasn't by accident. 2001, I had a chance to hear Rick DeFore for the first time. My district dragged me to this thing called the PLC Institute. I just started like two weeks earlier. Brand new principal, a school that's a hot mess. <clears throat> Last thing I wanted to do was spend four or five days in Chicago. I wanted to get into the data. I wanted to talk to people. I wanted to find out what was going on. Superman was coming to save the day. And the district said all of the administrators have to go to Lincolnshire for this thing called the PLC Institute. I had no clue what it was. So I sat in the fourth row with an attitude. And as the conference started, uh, the MC got it started, and then Becky started talking. And about 20 minutes into it, my guard started coming down. And by day four, back then it was four days, by day four, I was a full convert. I had drank the Kool-Aid. I was all in. And I walked down. Uh, and that, if you've ever been to an institute, some of the, the more recent ones, you'll see two, 3,000 people. That wasn't the case in 2001. There might have been 100 people, and uh, about 20% was from my district. And as Rick finished his closing keynote, because at that time they had Rick Stiggins, uh, Mike Smoker, Becky and Rick, and Bob Aker, they had five keynotes. And I walked down, and something told me, go talk to this man. I said, Mr. DeFore, I really like this PLC stuff. I learned a lot. I felt like. I've been totally retrained. <clears throat> but here's what I noticed. I didn't see any minority representation. And he looked at me and said, well, what are you going to do about that? I said, ooh, I didn't expect you to throw it back on me. I was trying to make you defensive. And he said, what are you going to do about that? He said, I've never worked in an urban environment. That's your, that's what you do. So why don't I work with you? Give me a name and number, email, and we'll correspond. And why don't you go back and prove that it can work? And then I'll give you a platform to share your results with everybody else. I said, bet. Now, those of you who've enjoyed his literature, his speaking, his research, his insight, for as brilliant as he was, he was even a better person. Because there was never a time that I was a nobody. I would email him and say, Rick, I'm running into this problem. The teachers are having a mutiny in the math department. Uh, they don't want to look at data. Uh, they're blaming the kids. What do I do? And it seemed like as fast as I finished that email, it was one coming back. So if any of you have ever emailed me before and I responded, that's who I learned it from. There are other uh, uh, scholars or people who are uh, reach some level of prominence who feel that they're beyond that. Rick will respond just like that. And it would be, wouldn't be like a two sentence, I said, does this man like have like doing a Jedi mind trick or something? How, how do you respond with a four paragraph response and I just sent it? That was Rick. Uh, guided us through the process and started in 2001, 2006, we were a National Blue Ribbon School. He said, well son, I think it's time for you to share your stuff with other people. So started doing breakout sessions at the PLC Institute. That grew into 
starting my research on school culture. If any of you read Transforming School Culture, he wrote the foreword to that book. And my contribution has been to continue to work on developing the environment of a school to be ready for the work of a PLC. So um, there's been no person professionally who's been more valuable to me than Rick DeFore. And very few people personally more valuable or more uh, influential to me than Rick DeFore. 